So, um, if I rewind to the short career I had when I did competitions with horses, uh, I did feel that I had a beautiful bond with my horse back then as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what I'm, uh, what I, I, I really wish that it would po- would be possible, sort of, to 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 rewind and go back in time and and see what it was really like. Mm-hmm. Because all I know is what it felt like from me. Exactly. And that's where it's it's really hard to talk with other people about it if it's not something that's happening right now. Because, you know, I, I, I'm kind of a brain science nerd and we just remember all sorts of things that may or may not have actually been true. So it's it's kind of like you just have to leave that behind and, and just deal with what you have today. And, you know, even even looking into the future, I, I try not to suggest things for people to try because who knows? It's, I'm not them. I'm not with their horse. I'm not in that relationship. But I can teach them how to find that still mind and how to inquire into themselves in that moment with, okay, this feels right. This feels not right. This feels expanding, relaxing, good. This feels, ugh, I don't want to be that person. Mm. So, yeah. But there are no points handed out for inner growth. There are no ribbons, no rewards, no oh, I would say it's applause. the opposite. It's the real. It's the real. Yeah. It's the but real I mean, ribbons. If, yeah, but if you if you come from, let's say, if you if you go back 30 years, mm-hmm. then this we probably wouldn't have this conversation. We would be having another conversation, would be my guess. Yeah, it, it really wasn't on humans' radar. I mean, the the first, you know, I started writing in the 80s, and it wasn't till you know, kind of mid-80s was when natural horsemanship was born, and that was, you know, supposed to be the solution, natural yeah. horsemanship, you know, that's, that's what we want, we want nature. But then, you know, you do it, and you realize, oh, wait, this is the same thing, you're still increasing the pressure until the horse does what you want. Um so, you know, back then that was the conversation. How can you do it as gently as possible? Whereas, but still do it. Yeah, exactly. You're still yeah. manipulating. And that's honestly, that's where 99% of the horse world still is today. You know, how can you be the gentle horse trainer? How can you harmoniously ride and, and do run barrels and jump jumps? Um, which again, it's fine. You know, I was there for 30 years and, and, you know, I, I didn't have a problem with it until I did. But now, you know, that's kind of my big thing is, is, is I have moved way past that. And as I put my message out and share my story, there's people that are like, oh my gosh, yes, th- I knew it. You know, thank you yeah. for putting that into words. So it's not, I mean, I'm not really trying to convince anybody. I'm just saying, hey, here's what I found. And then the people that have felt that way too, or are, are, you know, suspicious that there might be something here, then they're like, oh, wow, thank you for, for saying that. I, I knew it all along. Yeah. Yeah. 